Arsenal's new Bayer Leverkusen player. Mikel Arteta speaks on Granit Xhaka departure from Arsenal he said, We are saying goodbye to a fantastic player and person loved by all of us. It has been an incredible journey together for him and he has given absolutely everything for this club. The influence Granit has had on his teammates on the pitch and colleagues at the club, will tell you just how popular he is. We cannot thank Granite enough for his service and contribution to this club over the years. We wish Granite and his family all the best in the next step of their lives. Furthermore Arsenal Football Club Sporting Director Adu said that, Granite has been a big part of our club for a long time. He has given us great commitment and quality over the years, playing such an important role in our progression and success. He leaves us with our huge respect and thanks. We wish Granite all the best for the future. Shaka is reportedly keen to return to Germany, where he was initially signed by Arsenal. A report from Bild suggests that the move is now finalized by signing for Germany giant Leverkusen. Arsenal has reached an agreement to sell Granit Shaka to Bayer Leverkusen earlier. The completion of Arsenal's move for Declan Rice is said to be the reason for the delay in finalizing Shaka's transfer. Arsenal has secured an agreement to bring Rice to their squad, pending a medical examination and finalizing the paperwork. As per the report, Shaka has been granted permission to undergo a medical at Leverkusen. He was spotted in Cologne, Germany, reportedly having a medical examination today. Bayer Leverkusen officially announced the Shaka's signature. Meanwhile, Arsenal continues to work towards completing their move for Declan Rice. Shaka has served as well and remains a player we probably still need, but the midfielder is leaving at the right time, as we have signed a capable replacement. However, his departure means we have to rethink the decision to also sell Thomas Partey because losing two of them this summer will hurt. They were the backbone of the team last season and our new signings must hit the ground running immediately after they join the group, otherwise we may struggle. Reese Nelson has signed a new contract with Arsenal. The winger's previous deal expired on June 30, but he has agreed fresh terms that will run until 2027. The contract also contains the option for it to be extended by a further 12 months. Nelson struggled for minutes at Arsenal last season and had offers to leave this summer, but he eventually opted to stay put. So there was a conversation with Adu and the boss, we had a good conversation, a conversation that allowed me, I think, in my head and my heart to relax, and I feel like next season would allow me to grow and take the next step in my career, said Nelson. I'm kind of lost for words if I'm honest because, this is a team that I've been here since 8 years old. I'm 23 now, it's been a hell of a journey. And I'm just so happy really, you know, really happy, delighted to sign for this amazing club. My family are Arsenal supporters. So that makes it even happier, you know. But like I said, I'm just really happy and I just can't wait to get started for the new season. Nelson struggled for minutes last season, but he made valuable contributions off the bench and scored three Premier League goals. The winger is hoping he can stay injury-free this season and push to get more action. I feel like that the boss has always been honest to me, said Nelson. For the last year, he's been honest. When it's the time that he felt that maybe I could have done better when I've done good, maybe next time I had to go on loan. But of course, when I came back from loan, he had the conversation with me that he wanted to extend my contract. He's seen a massive change in me and it was like I'm at the next level and it feels like there's so many more different levels that I can go to. So that was the conversation I had with him. And for me, I feel like I just wanted to prove to him, prove to everyone how many levels I can actually go to and that's what we spoke about. For me personally, I think the main one is just it might sound silly, but it's just to stay injury free. I feel like, the rest will kind of come into itself. I feel like with that you get into a rhythm, you get into the pace of the game and from there I can take the next steps. But of course, for me I have some personal goals that I kind of keep to myself and try to tick off every day and yeah, just to have an amazing season. We got a new great bunch of lads, a young team, very young team but I feel like I said before. Well, I feel like we can go very far in all the competitions, battle for the Premier League again and just go to new heights.